first alleged rape by Roy Waller was in Rohnert Park back in 1991. The survivor tells KPIX 5's Wilson Walker she is ready to face him in court. It's a big day. It's a big day in my life. Um, it's a big day in my family's life. It's a day that I have been hoping for, wanting 27 years. For Nicole Pate, the news came in a sudden and unexpected phone call this morning. I thought I would go to my grave never seeing his face, never knowing his name, and having him never be held accountable. What we know is this started in 1991 in Rohnert Park. Prosecutors say she was Roy Waller's first victim in 1991, but Pate never did see her attacker. I've been walking around for 27 years looking, is that him? Well, that could be him. Who's that guy? What about that guy? Is he dead? Is he alive? Where does he live? Um, it's very, very challenging as a victim of this kind of crime um, to walk around never having seen his face because he was masked, so I never saw him, and then I was covered up, so I never saw him. Well, today, along with elation at the news, she also expressed her lingering frustration with the initial investigation back in the early 90s. Your story and what has happened to me was completely disregarded as unimportant. That's how it felt. It's not a pleasant way to feel. So finally, Sacramento said, nope, you're important. This happened to you. We're going to get this guy. And only then did she learn the extent of the case. I didn't know until 2006 that there were subsequent, a bunch of subsequent victims. Um, I didn't know until Sacramento contacted me. The 1991 attack falls beyond the statute of limitations, but Pate says she is determined to play some kind of role in the prosecution of this case moving forward. Whatever that looks like. If it's testifying to show a pattern, if it is um, a victim's impact statement, I'm going to demand that I get my day in the room with him. In Petaluma, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.